Let's do part D of the exercise on normal logic programs of the introduction of the course. So let's first write here which are the atoms of the program. So we have this asparagus, cabbage, red, meat, fish, and white. Good, then let's, let's now try to find the stable models directly using the fact that every stable model is also a model and that the atoms in a stable model must have a proof in the reduct of the program with respect to the, to the set that we are testing. So initially we cannot derive anything. So let's consider the stable models where coverage does not occur and where coverage do occur. So for the one on the, on the left side, if we have not coverage, then this is satisfied and we should derive asparagus. And uh, okay, we have asparagus, this rule is satisfied and this appears of the redirect. And also with asparagus, we should get fish from there. And okay, this goes quick. With fish, we get white. And with fish and white asparagus that we already had, so the rule is satisfied. And um, okay, we do not have coverage, so this rule is satisfied and we cannot derive meat. Now what else? If we have white, then this rule is satisfied and in fact disappears from the redact. And um, yes, this is what we can do so quickly. And now we can think what is left here, this meat and red. So at this point we so okay let's let's get a bit back to, to repeat what I did. If we have a stable model where coverage does not occur, we know this three should occur because of the time of, of reasoning we have done so far. Now what we can say about red now is that in the redact of any stable model that contains meat, this rule disappears. So then this means that there is no way to derive red in a stable model that contains white. So then red cannot belong to such a stable model. We can then be clever and say red has to be false. And then with a similar reason, type of reasoning, we can get that for me the situation is similar. To derive meat, we have to use some rules for it, but we, will, we do not have cabbage and we do not have red. So there's no way to derive it. Hence, meat also has to be false. Okay, this was fast. So basically, what we have, what we know is that if an interpretation doesn't have coverage, it should also satisfy this literal. It must have A, F, W, and it should not have R or M. Good, and since we have M, we know this rule is satisfied. And then from the dots that we were writing here, we know that all the rules are satisfied. And uh, okay, so then let's do the redact now. So just repeating what we have done before. We delete this one. Here we have asparagus. So we delete the whole rule. We have white. We delete the rule. And these are all negations. So now if we compute the consequences of this program, from the first rule we get, we get the A. Then from this one we get the fish, and from the fish we get the white, and with this we could get asparagus, but we already have it. And then for these two rules left, there's nothing else we can obtain. And then AFW is exactly what we had here, so then we know that we have found a stable model. And then we can just write it like this. Bank. Now let me clean a bit the, the program and then we, con and we continue with the other side. Okay, so what can we deduce if we have coverage? So in this case, this rule will be deleted from the redact because coverage will appear in this possible stable model. Now, what we know, if coverage is in the stable model, then it, there should be a proof for it on the redact. So then this 
then it cannot be the case that we have asparagus because with asparagus this disappears. So it must be the case that asparagus is false. That's it. So in other words, we know that if there's a stable model with C, it cannot have asparagus. And with this, this will disappear from the reduct. And then we derive cabbage from here. And cabbage does not occur anything else now about asparagus. This rule does not, um, the asparagus is not in our set, so the rule is satisfied. And we also must have that since given for, for, for this rule here, if asparagus is not in the set, then either fish or white should not be in the set, but we don't know which one. But what we can see here is that if fish cannot be in the, un, in the stable model, because um, if fish is going to be in a stable model that contains, uh, that does not contain asparagus, this is enough for this reasoning, if it does not contain asparagus, then there is not going to weigh a bit to prove fish, because we can only prove fish if we have proved before asparagus, but if we have proved asparagus before, then we already know that this cannot be a stable model, right? So then fish cannot be part of a stable model that does not contain aspar asparagus. So we say here that fish must also be false. And if fish is false, then this body is satisfied, and this body is also satisfied. And uh, what next? Then we can use a similar type of reasoning, right? Now, what we did before for fish, we can do it for white. For white to be in the stable model, we must have a proof. And we can only have a proof for white if we have a proof for fish. But fish will not be in the stable model. Hence, we cannot have white either. Okay, and if we do not have white, then this is deleted from the reduct, and we can derive red. And if we have red, then we can derive meat. Good, so then, and then this means that this rule is satisfied because we have red, this are satisfied because we have meat, and all the rules are satisfied. We have been adding the dots on the side of deleting the rules. So now let's do quickly the reduct again. I think we, I have already been doing it on the way, but just to repeat here, we do not have cabbage. Sorry, we have cabbage, so we delete the rules. We do not have asparagus, we delete the literal. We do not have white, we delete the literal, and we are left with these positive logic programs from which we can derive coverage and red from the first two rules. And then with coverage or with red with any of them, we can derive meat. And then, okay, and then with these rules, uh, let me let me write it because now I'm now I'm a bit now I'm a bit lost with what we have left. So we have coverage, we have red. With coverage and red, we got the meat. And then we don't have the asparagus, we do not have fish or white. So then we finish. And this is what we obtain, which is the same as what we wanted to test. So then we know that this is indeed a stable model. And we can conclude the exercise. Yes. So then we can say that the stable models, oops, let me change. The stable models are those two. AFW and CRM. Good. Okay, this was quick. I hope you understood it and that you enjoyed it. So see you in another video. Ciao.